Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelby and Epe. I'm Kelby and I have a rare neuromuscular disorder called Friedreich's ataxia. It affects my walking and coordination, so I need to use a walker to help me get around. So we know basically how Epe affects me. But today I want to dive a little bit deeper into what exactly is FA. I'll talk about the signs and symptoms of FA, the cause, and then potential treatments that are in the works. First, what is FA? So FA is a debilitating, life-shortening, degenerative neuromuscular disorder that is very rare. It only affects about one in 50,000 people in the US. Most people with FA um, show symptoms between the ages of five and 18. It's less common, but adults can also share symptoms. Let's go over the signs and symptoms of FA. It's worth noting that these can be very different in individuals with FA. They are not going to manifest in the same ways. So as I go through this list, I'll talk about how each sign and symptom affects me personally. I can speak to everyone. Just know it might be different. So first, there's loss of coordination in the arms and legs. Obviously, my coordination in my legs is not 100% because I can't walk without my walker. Also, the coordination in my arms is not 100%. Like if I go and reach for my coffee, takes a little bit more effort. Also, that's not super high on my list of priorities because I can still do most things. I just, it takes more time. Second is fatigue or energy deprivation. I have a very hard time with fatigue. I need to use a walker to help short distance and a scooter for longer distance. Next is vision impairment, hearing loss, and slurred speech. I do not experience vision impairment. Um, I have mild symptoms of hearing loss. Um, mostly it's hard for me to have a conversation with someone when there's background noise. So if I'm talking to you and there's loud music playing, it's hard for me to focus on the conversation at hand. And then speech is mildly affected. Um, you can still obviously understand most of what I'm saying. It is a little bit slower and so I did debate if I should kind of speed up these videos because I don't want to lose any of my viewers attention. But finally, I decided that it's important to show the reality of living with FA. And also I think it's important to show that it's okay to be a little bit different. Next on the list is diabetes. I don't have diabetes, but I should probably watch the amount of chocolate I consume. Next is aggressive scoliosis. I do have scoliosis, but it's not aggressive. It's pretty mild. Finally, individuals with FA might have serious heart conditions like cardiomyopathy. I do not have any signs of heart conditions, 
which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, I do see a cardiologist once a year to kind of check up and make sure nothing has changed. My neurologist said he would be very surprised if I started to show any signs of heart issues. What's the cause of FA? FA is genetic. It's a mutation of the F FXN gene. Both of my parents are carriers and my brother and my sister do not have FA. So the FA gene mutation affects the production of something called Fritaxin. Fritaxin is in the mitochondria of the cell. Fritaxin helps to move iron sulfur clusters. Um, so since I don't produce enough Fritaxin, I have iron buildup in my cells, which manifests as FA symptoms. Um, and then we also know that specific nerve cells um, degenerate. That's a quick explanation of FA. Um, it's obviously very complex. Right now, there are no treatments for FA. FARA is the Friedrich Sataxia Research Alliance, and they are funding research to find treatments and a cure for FA. They really do believe that the time to find a cure is now. New research that is emerging has treatments that address different causes of problems in FA, like um, gene mutation, protaxin production, iron sulfur clusters, and mitochondrial function. So if you would like to see the full list, you can go to the research pipeline on Ferris website. I'll link it below in the description. Honestly, FA is very complex and overwhelming. That was my best shot at a comprehensive explanation, but there is always more information at curafa.org. So please hit subscribe and then leave a comment for me and let me know what you would like to see in the future. Thanks guys, see you next time.